guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be yet another Sassy Girl Aroma haul. I cannot get enough of Sassy Girl Aroma. I love Julie, I love her wax, and from what I've melted, love the performance. Now, I know you might not have seen an empties video from me for a while, but I'm working on using up, like, baskets of pre-made things that I've had, like vendors that I'm not sure about yet, um, round robin leftovers, just like a little bit of stuff like that. So I haven't been melting a ton of like all of my vendors that I really want to stick to. I want to try to use up the vendors that I'm not super thrilled with right now, but I do love my Sassy Girl Aroma and Super excited about this haul. So let's get into it. As always, you do get her awesome business card. It says Sassy Girl Candle Company. It doesn't say Sassy Girl Aroma on here, but on the back it does say sassygirlaroma.com. And then I do have two samples. The first one is A Woman's Temptation. So I love her little samples. And this was from, I believe, the February 18th pre-order. I believe. Don't quote me on that. This is nice. This is definitely something I've smelled before. A woman's temptation. It smells a little bit fruity, a little bit sweet. I've definitely smelled this before, but I can't exactly remember what it is. But it's yum. It's like a fruity body care. And then next is dreaming of Tahiti. So let's see what this is like. This also smells like something I've had before in candle form. Or is it body care? It's so hard to tell because so many body care things have turned into candles and vice versa. When I think of Tahiti, I think of like those tiari flowers, like those white gardenias and tuberoses, but it's not like that at all. It has kind of like a sweet orange blossom note. Could it be? I'm not exactly sure, but... Yeah, it's yummy. There's no notes on her samples, so I don't exactly know, but super excited on those. So with this order I placed, I've got a ton of, of course, her favorite, my favorite, brittles. And then I did get one loaf. So I think we'll start with the loaf. I got a loaf in On The Pier. You guys, you guys, you guys. If you know me, you know I love Summer Boardwalk and Cider Lane. Those are my two all-time favorite fragrances from Bath & Body Works. And On The Pier is a dupe for Bath & Body Works Summer Boardwalk. And this says, caramel drizzled popcorn with sweet candy apples blended with sweet cream and a touch of sea salt. Yes, this is, uh, Summer Boardwalk is my favorite type of scent. I, I wanna say, it gives me like circus concession type vibes, but I think it's so much better. It's sweet, it's caramely, it's popcorny. Charity, please tell me you got on the pier in your order and see how you think it compares to summer or to circus concession, which I know you love. And from Sassy Girl Rima, she loves, and so do I, Sawdust Days. I find that this, it definitely has that salty, sweet cream note in it, which I think is just fantastic. And I know I definitely am going to need more than one loaf of this. But I did order a few brittles from her latest pre-order. I constantly have my pre-orders coming, but super excited for On The Pier. Cannot wait to dive into this in the summer. All right, let's dive into the brittles. Most of them came in one piece this time, so I was super happy about that. The first one is Key Lime Pie and Catherine King. I know how much you love Key Lime Pie, and I adore it just as much. Well, you definitely like it more than me, but I do love Key Lime Pie and want to try it from all the vendors. So this one is Tart Key Lime Whipped Cream and Pie Crust. And I had it was a key lime bakery from her from sassy girl and i liked it but it didn't have the full effect pie crust that i was looking for and i'll admit this one doesn't either honestly now this will be interesting i kind of get a fizzy pop my cat literally knocked over all the packing peanuts because I took the packing peanuts out of this box and put them in another box on my desk so I can put them outside because it's pouring down rain out today so 
it'll be perfect to get them dissolved, but just knocked them all over, so now they're going to have them all over the house. It's fine. Catherine, if you ordered this, tell me, does it smell like fizzy pop a little bit to you? I feel like I get fizzy pop. With like a bakery note. I'm definitely getting something like fizzy pop. Hmm, I'm not sure. It definitely does not remind me of key lime pie, but interesting. It definitely gives me like a Sprite Mountain Dew fizzy pop. So honestly, not what I was expecting. Interesting. Next, we have Montego Bay, and this one I'm upset. I love how it's white with the purple. It's so pretty. Blackberry Toasted Marshmallow Sea Salt Breeze S'mores and Marshmallow, which is her Beach Nights, which has been getting so much attention lately. I know people love her Beach Nights. I do too. I just ordered two brittles in her last pre-order in just plain Beach Nights, which I'm excited to have on my in my arsenal. But this is her Beach Nights mixed with Blackberry. Let's give it a sniff. Oh, that's nice. Definitely you pick up on beach nights right away. It has that sweetness, that really little bit of sea saltiness from the beach nights. Oh, it's so good. Beach nights is just a fantastic calming scent for me. And then almost as I'm taking my nose away, I smell the blackberry. Just a hint of a little bit of a, mm, of a fruitiness. That is delish. Love, love that one. Next one we have is Noel's Full of Fudge, and this is Vanilla Bee Noel Fudge Butter and Sugar Cookies. I'm obsessed with Vanilla Butter Fudge lately, so I knew I had to try this. This is interesting. I definitely get sugar cookie, and it smells like those slice and bake sugar cookies. You know, the ones that you get like a tube and you slice off as you want and bake them or eat them. Don't do that. I'm not encouraging you to eat raw cookie dough, but it definitely smells like vanilla butter fudge, which I love that like gooey, sweet, decadent, comforting, buttery fudge note. But then I get that like raw sugar cookie dough. Interesting. I like that. I was expecting it to be a little more fudgy, but I'm not complaining because I really like the sugar cookie in there. I like raw sugar cookie, so. Next, I just... I thought the name, I thought the notes, everything. Pour me a sangria and chill. Cantaloupe, watermelon, dragon fruit, Madagascar vanilla, and sugar. I love cantaloupe, so I'm excited for this one. Oh, that's yummy. That is so good. Now, there is no alcohol note in here, but it does remind me of a sangria that has cantaloupe in it. Like when they take a melon baller and they scoop like a perfectly round ball of cantaloupe and watermelon and they float it in your drink. And I love cantaloupe and wax and this smells just like cantaloupe. And the dragon fruit adds that sourness to it that a lot of vendors, I feel like when you add dragon fruit, it can get lost. But in this one, I really smell that sourness from the dragon fruit. Wow, is that good. I don't typically love a ton of super fruity scents, but that's a winner. Next, we have American Honey, and this one is yellow cake mix with sweet frosting topped with strawberries. It's very light. I'm not getting a ton from it, to be honest. Hmm, it definitely gives me cake vibes. But I'm not picking up on strawberry, really. It kind of just smells like a pretty plain cake. So, with some cure time and getting this melting, I'll be curious to see if, like, the strawberry note comes out. But on cold, I'm only getting, like, a very light cake. So we'll see. American Honey. I do like it. I just, I wanted more cake. Or more strawberry. Now this, guys at the North Pole. I think I talked about this in a video, my last Sassy Girl haul, not really sure. Everybody is raving about this, and I know like at the North Pole doesn't scream April, but it's vanilla, it's peppermint, and people like to melt peppermint at night. I like to melt peppermint at night, but everyone says, I know, I know peppermint and vanilla sounds so like everybody does it, but Julie's is so creamy. 
So it says sweet peppermint sticks with a creamy, rich vanilla. All right, I've heard so much about this and I feel like it's taking me so long to order it. That's good. Mm-hmm. I see what everybody means. It's definitely peppermint stick. Like, straight up, you just unwrapped it and you definitely broke it in half because I can never unwrap a candy cane without snapping it in half. Oh my gosh. But the vanilla, it's right. It kind of leans towards, like, buttercream frosting. That's how rich and creamy the vanilla is. But blended with that peppermint, oh... Oh my gosh, is this deck in it. Yeah. Love that. Oh, that's a winner, and I cannot wait to start melting this. Oh my god. Water bubbles. Look at this. This literally looks like hubba bubba. Look at that, like, neon pink and green. Watermelon, banana, and birthday cake. Hello. I love banana birthday cake, and I love watermelon. It's interesting. It's a very odd combo. Watermelon, banana, birthday cake. It definitely leans Jolly Rancher, vanilla, or watermelon, but I'm not upset about that. I don't mind watermelon. Watermelon, to me, is very hard to duplicate authentically, so I don't mind a candied watermelon, and this is definitely candied watermelon. But that's interesting with the banana in there. The birthday cake kind of just like adds that bakery element to it. Wow, that's very different. I'm intrigued. I don't know if I love it. I don't hate it. I don't know if I love it yet. I do typically love banana scents. This is definitely one that when it melts, I'll be very curious to see what it's like. Now this, I purely ordered because of the name, Easter Parade. I'm excited, I wanna melt this during the week of Easter. This says ruby red grapefruit, sugar, orange, citrus, and whipped cream. I like this. Oh, if you remember, I did a, as a Beezy's tart in like zesty grapefruit in the round robin. That was like way too overwhelming grapefruit. I like could not smell it. I still have it here. I don't know when I'm going to melt that. But this, this is grapefruit done right. This smells like a big juicy pink grapefruit loaded with sugar and it's super cold and you just like take a spoon into it oh that is yummy that is really really yummy easter parade that's a winner and i mean it doesn't necessarily need to be easter to melt this i think this is a good one if you need like a wake up in the morning because that grapefruit there super zesty super bright boy i really like that one Moving on, we have Driscoll. Now, I ordered this one purely on the description and a scent memory. So this says, bowl of fresh picked strawberries, whipped cream, and white cake. When I was growing up, my grandparents, my dad, and I would go to this place. It is a chain, um, the original Pancake House, not IHOP, the original Pancake House. Comment down below if you have original Pancake House near you. Fantastic. The logo is like a guy holding like a, a chef holding like a pan and like there's like a pancake in the air. And I remember as like an appetizer for breakfast, they had strawberries and whipped cream. And when they brought out that bowl of strawberries with fresh whipped cream, that whipped cream was the best in the world. And I want this to remind me of those days since both of my grandparents have passed away now. I just, I wanted it for the memory. I love strawberry. Now this is definitely leans towards artificial strawberry, then super authentic. But it's crazy because you do pick up on the whipped cream and maybe the whipped cream and the white cake have something to do with it. But yeah, it does lean like a little bit candied strawberry. I'm not complaining, but I love that. And I just think having that in my collection with my, my grandparents um, that's just a memory I always have had with them. I know it's like a little one, but I don't know. It always brings me back. Now this one, the colors. This is Harry Potter, but the O has an asterisk for, obviously, rights. Tea and Cakes Blackberry Butter Jam Cookies. 
vanilla sugar waffle cone. So I don't have a ton of tea and cake blends. I need to order tea and cakes on its own from Julie to see. I don't mind this. I feel like this, as crazy as this sounds, the tea and cakes and the vanilla sugar waffle cone, I feel like this smells the truest to blackberry jam butter cookies that I've smelled. Like, I feel like when blackberry jam butter cookies is in something it's kind of hard to detect, you really have to like stick your nose in it and think about it. Whereas with this, I feel like it's almost like those notes bring out the blackberry jam butter cookie. Like the tea and cakes brings out the cake part, the vanilla sugar waffle cone brings out the bake part, I guess. I don't know. It, yeah. Oh, this smells like a really good blackberry jam butter cookie. Excited about that. I can see why so many people love that one. Next, Hose Over Bro's Birthday. I think this is such a fun name, and it's Pink Sugar, Blue Sugar, and Birthday Cake. And if you don't know, Pink Sugar and Blue Sugar are from Aqualina. Pink Sugar's a perfume, and Blue Sugar is like their cologne. But I love both of those notes. And I love this. But you know what's interesting? You definitely get birthday cake. Birthday cake is definitely in the forefront. All right, this sounds kind of crazy because you would never eat a cake with perfume on it, but picture a really nice frosted confetti cake and you spritz half of it with pink sugar and half of it with blue sugar. Yeah, I kind of get like, like that vibe from it. It's crazy. Like, a little bit of pink, a little bit of blue, because you get the sweetness from the pink sugar. You get a little bit of that, like, warm, more dense um, from the blue sugar. And then you get that, like, birthday yummy confetti cake. I really like that. I like that one more than I thought I would. Next, we have Smurfs doing laundry, and I've been trying to get all the laundry blends to find my perfect laundry. And this one is Fresh Rain Snuggle Blueberry and Cotton Candy, which sounds super interesting love the colors. I love that vibrant purple. This is different. Um, definitely not what I expected. It's not as laundry as I thought it would be. The blueberry and the cotton candy take a little bit away from the laundry, which I'm not mad about. Sometimes laundry can be way too in your face. This is like, maybe it's the fresh rain. That's really nice. Well, okay, so now that I'm sitting here reading this, Fresh Rain Snuggle Snuggles Fabric Softener. So it's not really laundry detergent. Oh, that's really nice. It's a very comforting, warm, like, if I was doing laundry, this was the scent of my fabric softener, and I put that on my robe, and I, like, wore my robe fresh out of the wash, I'd be like, or out of the dryer. It just smells comforting and a little sweet. That is really good. Next one is Berry Cheesy. And this is Wildberry Mousse and Smooth Creamy Cheesecake. I feel like Wildberry Mousse has been like slept on in the vendor world for a while. In the vendor world, it seems like things like come and go. Like right now, Palo Santo, huge trend. Warm vanilla sugar, huge trend. And I feel like Wildberry Mousse was a big trend and now it's not as much. This just smells like Stop it, cats! They're messing with my lights. Like a berry cheesecake. Yeah, like a very berry cheesecake. But not like pie crust or anything, like graham cracker crust. Just like a very creamy berry cheesecake filling, should I say. Yeah, that's a very cheesy one. Oh gosh. I need sleep. <laughs> All right, next. This is one I'm very, very, very curious about. Now, I have a little, um, like, correction for my last video. I said that the one, I forget what the name is, but it was supposed to be the Fluffy Towels dupe. It is not. This is the Fluffy Towels dupe. Time for jammies. Clean laundry straight from the dryer. So, this is supposedly the fluffy towels type from Yankee Candle. I haven't smelled anything like it, and I know Jessica D says the same thing. We love our fluffy towels. Let's see. Nope, doesn't smell like it. It's that sweet scent again. Like, it's almost like too sweet. I don't mind it, but it's not my favorite laundry. 
It definitely smells like laundry, but it's a little bit too sweet laundry. Yeah. I'll let it cure, of course, and melt it, of course, to see, but right now it's a little too sweet for me. It's okay. Can't win them all. Next one is Uncle Tom's Cabin, and this is Key Lime Lemon Curd Birthday Cake. I love lemon and lime mixed together. This is nice. This is nice. The key lime is definitely detectable. This smells more like key lime than the key lime pie does. This one smells more like key lime. Obviously key lime and lemon, but I'm trying to think of like how to describe it. Almost like a key lime custard. Like if you went to like your favorite like frozen yogurt place and they had key lime custard, you try that, that's kind of what it smells like. Because frozen yogurt itself is a little bit more tart because of it being yogurt versus ice cream. And I feel like the lemon kind of gives that like tartness that resembles like a uh, lime custard. I like it. This next one is watermelon bubba gum. So it's bubba gum. It does not bubble gum, bubba gum. And this is watermelon blended with bubble gum. So the description is bubble gum, but the name is bubba gum. I only ordered this because I don't have any bubblegum scents really in my collection. Just the one from Scentsy, and I could not stand that. I actually had to change some more warmers. I can tolerate this, but it's not a favorite. Yeah, I think I just need to write off that bubblegum scents are not for me. I don't know why. It's just, I, I just don't enjoy them. I don't know why. Next is Her Lover, and this is Pink Sugar, Hello Lover, and Marshmallow. And as you know, Hello Lover's not my favorite. Yes, I have not warmed it yet, and I admit that. I have not warmed it yet. I just, there's a note in it that I can't get past that's kind of plasticky to me, but people say it goes away on warm, and I promise I will get to it and warm it. I do have a brittle in it. So this is that mixed with Pink Sugar and Marshmallow. I still get that note. Yep. All right, by the time my next Sassy Girl Aroma order comes in, which is going to be her Easter sampler, I actually just got the notification today that the Easter egg sampler shipped, I will put in my basket Hello Lover to melt. So that way you guys can get like the full effect so I can tell you what I think of it. But right now, I don't get pink sugar as much. I get like that, like, I don't know why it's like coming across plasticky. I'm not sure. Anyway, the last one, this is the only brittle that came like pretty broken up and it was funny all the other ones were super wrapped this was like one loose that was just like on the corner of the box and I knew it was just there's no hope she's a sad brittle and this one is blue sugar cotton candy and caramel kettle corn excited for this one love those notes oh yeah that's good blue sugar cotton candy kettle corn and caramel Interesting. This is definite, like, definite, like, circusy vibes from the cotton candy and the kettle corn. But blue sugar mixed with it? Really interesting. If you want, like, a masculine version of popcorn, I, I know that sounds so strange, but if you want, like, a masculine version of popcorn, give this one a try. Really interesting. And because this is pretty broken up, I think I'm actually gonna just put this in a basket, wait two weeks from today and melt this because storing brittles that are like super broken like this in my collection are pretty hard. So yeah. All right, love the order. I think this is one where like I'm exploring more in scents that I'm not 100% sure on with, with Sassy Girl and I'm loving it. I'm loving what I do like, what I don't like, can't wait to melt it. Super excited for all of these, and I will let you know, if my videos seem more sporadic, it's because I'm actually moving. Um, it's a big announcement, I mean, for me. I'm moving into a two-bedroom apartment, so I'm so excited. More room for the cats, more room for life, and more warmers which I'm super excited about, and I'll have my bedroom, I'll have a spare room, which is going to be my office for my candles and my filming, and a bathroom, a laundry room, a living room, like a whole entire apartment for me and myself to melt my wax. So that's another reason why I'm working through wax I'm not 100% loving right now, because I want to warm it, get rid of it, so that way when I move into my new space, it can be 
a fresh slate and I have some bedroom melts that are exclusive to the bedroom where I can keep the door closed, keep that scent goodness in there. So really excited, really hoping the apartment doesn't suck up scent. Um, so fingers and toes crossed for that. And that's why all of these hauls I'm like holding on to because I want to warn them in the new house. So yeah, super excited for that. I am really excited to just start fresh and have like a new a new home to call my own but thank you all so much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit that notification bell that way you're alerted anytime i upload here on youtube please make it a better world be kind to one another i love you all so much and everyone who's watching you matter love you bye